good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Ride Free Reading Room uh, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and now we'll be uh, uh, viewing on Tuesday mornings at 9.30. So hope to see you then, or at 10 o'clock. I'm not sure exactly what time, but actually you can view us anytime during the week. Uh, so I hope all the caregivers are, are nearby to support the program and um, uh, enjoy it with you. Uh, and make it a much richer experience. So here we go, okay? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Right. Well, the leaves really blew around yesterday, didn't they? Oh, wow, they did. And Guess what was underneath them? A little caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Whoops. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon big brother. Then upon her dear grandmother, Gran said, little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Our Gran's great. Oh, I think they're super. <laughs> little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. Oh, they said what? Little Arabella Miller, take away your caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller had a fuzzy caterpillar. Next it crawled upon big brother, then upon her dear grandmother. Grand said, little Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Yeah, look at that. Very interesting. Very interesting little creature. Sure is. Well, <clears throat> the wind doesn't seem to bother my friends out there on the brook. And here they are, six little ducks. Can you get six little ducks out? Yeah, pretend these are five, and there's one. And you can you can um, <clears throat> play along with the music. Okay, here we go. Six little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, and pretty ones too. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Yeah. yeah, I imagine that these are the babies, right? They're yellow. That's the daddy. The mommy must be right nearby somewhere, don't you think? Sure. Here we go. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little ducks, right? We have five fingers and one more is six. Six little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, and pretty ones too. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with a feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Oh, I think that was probably the daddy. And here are the babies. They still had their yellow fuzz. <clears throat> Well, let's see. 
Wizzy Wizard, do you have a message for us today? Yes, I do. I do. I, I forgot to give this to you last week, so let's do it today, shall we? Let's see. Books are very rich in vocabulary. They have words that we do not use in everyday conversation with young children. So children hear many more words when we read books to them. You may notice though, that with board books or for babies, <clears throat> there are often only a couple of extra words, <clears throat> uh, words on the page. In that case, you are the one who must provide extra words by using the pictures as conversation starters, right? Or talk about your, your own childhood or something, right? just anything. You'll see I do that during the, the, the program too. <clears throat> Well, my first book is Baba Black Sheep. Well, we all know that rhyme, don't we? Huh? Sure we do. Sure we do. Baba Black Sheep. And this is by Jane Cabrera. And what does the sheep have? He has wool on him, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. This is gonna be just kind of hard to manage here. Hmm. All that wool. Look at that. He needs a haircut. Well, he's going to get one. Yes, he is. Baba Black Sheep. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Why, yes, miss. Yes, miss. Three bags full. <laughs> one for a half and one for mittens, and one for a messy, messy muddle of kittens. Look at that. They love to play with the yarn. And look at that nice warm woolly hat. Yeah. I have on a woolly sweater. It doesn't come from a purple sheep. <coughs> Someone put some coloring in that, I think. But it is made out of wool from the sheep. <coughs> Baba Black Sheep. How uh, have you any wool? Why, yes, miss, yes, miss. Three bags full. Oh, he's giving a lot of wool away, isn't he? <clears throat> one for a swing, a fitted in a swing, and one for a vest. And, and one for the bright blue eggs in the nest. Look at that. He made a nest out of the wool. Oh, to keep those babies warm, those little eggs, right? Oh, what's happening to the sheep? Did you look a little bit smaller, huh? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Why, yes, miss, yes, miss. Three bags full. <coughs> That's a lot of wool. <coughs> One for a beard and one for a wig, and one for a tea cozy for a pig. He's wearing it as a hat. Look at that. The tea cozy is something that keeps the tea pot warm. And that wool will keep it warm. <clears throat> Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Why, oh, yes, miss, yes, miss. Three bags full. One for the children and one for the missus and one for a baby all covered with kisses. Look at that. All the family has something nice and warm to put on. But, oh, Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool for me? Oh, no, miss, no, miss. Uh, no bags full. Look, he's, he's <clears throat> almost bald there. Oh, my goodness, poor little sheep. Well, Baba Black Sheep, <clears throat> thank you for the wool. Thank you, thank you for many bags full. Sorry we took it all. Sorry it's all gone until your wool grows back. Please put these on. Look, they made him a coat and a hat and, and socks too. Right, a little dress. Keep them nice and warm until his wool grows back. Well, that was very nice. 
and that's where the <clears throat> wool comes from, from the sheep. And he'll grow more wool, and next year he'll just have as much, if not more. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I don't know. A lot of people like to go hunting. And I like to pretend. Do you like to pretend? I do too. So here we go. Oh, a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a. Here we go. Oops. A pig and put him in a wig and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a lamb and put him in a pram. What's a pram? A baby carriage. And then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a, what is that? A skunk and put him in a bunk the bunk bed and then we'll let him go oh hunting we will go a uh, hunting we will go we'll catch a goat and put him in a boat and then we'll let him go oh hunting we will go a uh, hunting we will go we'll catch a what is that a snake and put him in a cake and then we'll let him go Oh, hunting we will go, a uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a, what is that, little mouse? A mouse and put him in a house and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a bear and put him in underwear and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a uh, hunting we will go. We'll catch a brontosaurus and put him in the chorus and then we'll let him go. Oh, hunting we will go, a uh, hunting we will go. We'll just pretend and in the end, we'll always let them go. Yeah, of course, we'll let them go. We wouldn't want to catch wild animals or <clears throat> that matter, domestic ones too. My gracious. Well, hoo, hoo, hoo. when we hear the owls out this time of year, they're calling to make a family. Yes, they are. <clears throat> the wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke, the, less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? The wise old owl sits high in the oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke, the less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we be more like that wise old bird? Just listen, You'd be surprised how much you learn. Lots of things. Well, do you have a dog? <clears throat> we used to have a dog. And this is by Marilyn Singer. What is your dog doing? Look at that cute little Boston Terrier. In fact, we had a Boston Terrier when I was a little girl. There's one dog. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> dog dreaming. Look, he's sleeping, but he's dreaming. Does he dream? Ah, dog scheming. Oh, he knows how to get those cupcakes off the table. Look at that scheming. He's a schemer. Dog inspecting. What does that say on his jacket? Police. Yeah, he's looking for um, uh, bad stuff that is not supposed to be there, right? Dog protecting. Look at that. He's got to protect his bone, but I don't think that cat wants his bone. <laughs> Silly dog. Silly dog. Cats don't eat bones. Unless they have 
dog that knows the way to guide. Yeah, there, he's helping someone who needs some help. Dog that knows just where to hide. Oh, uh oh, I wonder what he did. Naughty, naughty. Hi, is he hiding? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, my goodness. That's how you rip books, Granny Jean. I just did it. That's, I just did it. Dog sharing. Dog daring, look at that. He's riding in a sidecar on a motorcycle. And this dog is sharing his toy with a little poodle. Right. Dog in a chase. Oh, he doesn't want a bath. Look at that, he's running away. Dog in disgrace. Oh, you muddied my rug, naughty boy. Hmm? Brilliant dog that loves to herd. Oh, look at that sheep dog. Right. He uh, keeps all the animals safe. Famous dogs that get chauffeured. Means they get driven around. Look at all those news people taking pictures of the famous dog. Maybe that's Lassie. What do you think? And dogs shedding. Look at all the hair he has. See, there you go. See the hair he has <clears throat> that comes off him every so often. Dog sledding. Oh, fun. Oh, fun. Dog paddling laps. Can you swim? Dog dancing. Perhaps he's trying to get that <clears throat> toy. I mean that that um, treat, right? He's, he's jumping up and down. Looks like he's dancing. Dog that works the circus tent. Oh, look at that smart dog! Right through the hoop he goes. Dog that's with the president. Dog wired. Oh, look at him jump up high. Dog tired. Oh. <clears throat> dog snug in a purse. Look how tiny that dog is. Ah, dog in reverse. He's not tiny, is he? No, he's very big. Look at him. He's sitting in. And his master is laughing. I can't see the master. Dog laughing. Oh, dog chewing. Oh, 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 what did he do to that chair? That must be a puppy. They don't know any better. Tell me, what is your dog doing? Huh? What do you think he's doing? Do you have a dog? Not everybody does. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. Next, <laughs> um, this week we have a, a holiday coming up and it's called Veterans Day. And Veterans Day is a day when we thank all our servicemen, our soldiers, people have, that have gone into the, <clears throat> and, and been in danger for our safety and take care of us and save us, right? So one, one song I know is Yankee Doodle. So why don't we sing it, right? I don't, Yankee Doodle came from a long time ago when I think the British called us Yanks. A long time ago. But here we go. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. 
<clears throat> that was pretty badly off tune, but we'll try to do better. And come on, caregivers, how about drowning me out, huh? The Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his hat and called it back a rony. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. So thank you all the servicemen out there that might be home today. Thank you so much for all that you have done. Keeping us safe. <clears throat> well, yesterday the leaves weren't falling softly at all, but here's a, here's a poem that is kind of fun to do. Pretend you're a tree. See my tree up there? It's losing its leaves, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. Here we go. Pretend you're a tree and all the leaves are up there shaking in the breeze. The leaves are softly falling down. They make a carpet on the ground. When wish the wind comes whirling by and sends them dancing to the sky. But can you do that? Come on. The leaves are softly falling down. They make a carpet on the ground. Wish the wind comes whirling by and sends them dancing to the sky. <clears throat> well, we have a book today of Here Are My Hands. I want you to show me parts of your body that we talk about, okay? Can you do that with me? <clears throat> And this is by Bill Martin Jr. and John <laughs> Archambault. Look at all those children who are participating in my book. Here are my hands for catching and throwing. Here are my feet for stopping and going. Where are your feet? You have two, right? One foot, two foot is two feet. Here is my head for thinking and knowing. Here is my nose. Uh, for smelling and blowing. That's where we smell some good yummy things. Maybe you might be cooking. Or when we go buy at a bakery. Here are my eyes for seeing and crying. Here are my ears for washing and drying. And what else is he doing? He's listening. He's listening to something. What is he listening to? I see a big shell there, a big gigantic shell. And when you put a shell up to your ear, it sounds like you're hearing the ocean. Here are my knees for falling down. Oh. And here is my neck for turning around. Where's your neck, huh? There's mine somewhere in there. Here are my cheeks for kissing and blushing. Here are my teeth for chewing and brushing. Right, if we didn't have teeth, we couldn't chew up all those wonderful things that we eat. Here is my elbow, my arm, and my chin. Where's your chin? I want to see your elbow. Where's your elbow? Here's my elbow up here. And here is my skin that bundles me in. Right, it's like a package. Your skin is like a package of your whole body. 
here are my hands by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. Well, I think it's time now to say goodbye. <laughs> and what we need to do is find some stars. And here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Can you sing that with me again, hmm? There we go. Ah! This is the fallen star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, it's been awfully good to see you today and hope to see you next week too. Remember it's Tuesday now. But any time during the week, you can watch any of these programs, um, especially the last three, I think, are now <clears throat> um, uh, computer um, uh, friendly. So here we go. Bye bye to Granny Jean and bye to the Yankee Doodle. Bye bye to Mr. Owl. It's time to say goodbye. And bye bye to Baba Black Sheep. And bye bye to the Bear in Underwear. And bye-bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye.